In this segment, I'm going to show you how to use a composing stick to set your type. We're going to be setting a quote by Anais Nin. The first thing I'm going to do is set my composing stick um, to the right correct increment, and in this case, I've decided I want it to be uh, 21 picas. So I'm going to take a piece of lead and I'm going to put it in place, and it should fit tightly, but not too tightly. And then um, I'm gonna hold the composing stick with my left hand, with my thumb in this place, and I'm going to be working from left to right and upside down. So I don't want my first letter to be right up against um, the arm. So I'm gonna put a quad in. I'm gonna take my first letter, which is a capital W, my next letter, which is a lowercase e. I'm gonna put a piece of spacing in. So I've gotten to the end of my line. The next thing I'm gonna do is check that all of my letters have basically what's called a nick. If you can see, there's a groove, an indentation. I'm gonna fill in the rest of this space. And so it's tight, but not too tight. So now I've got one complete line. It's set nice and tight in there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 21 picas, letting again. I'm gonna put it in place and I'm gonna go start on my next line. Now, because I want to have left justified, I'm gonna take my 36 point quad. I'm gonna start with that in place. And then I'm gonna start filling in with the rest of my letters. So I've gotten the end of my line again. We do not see things. Um, but what I was saying is this is a California job case. All the letters are in the same location. So if you start learning how to set type, you're going to want to familiarize yourself with the California job case. It's one of the more common um, orientations of um, set type. So now I've filled out the rest of my line. I'm going to take my letting, put it in place, and continue on. And so what we've just done now is set two lines of type in our composing stick and we'll be ready for our next step.